Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to my course uh, Aspects of Biochemical Engineering. Now I was, I was discussing the transport phenomena which appears to be the most uh, interesting and most uh, important topic as per, as per any chemical and biochemical processes are concerned. Now uh, if you look at uh, our um, uh, biochemical process we required the movement of the fluid and when a liquid is flowing. Uh, they, they through a pipeline or in a blood vessel, there is a um, kind of momentum transfer that we take place. And in, in a vessel, when uh, when you have some kind of microorganism uh, that uh, you know also b b or any the when you do the any kind of stirring, then this should be remain in suspension. So we come across the different uh, different type of transfer phenomena. One is called uh, that uh, momentum transfer. Another is the mass transfer and the heat transfer. So, uh, so in the last uh, lecture, I try to concentrate on the momentum transfer and how we can analyze the momentum transfer. I try to discuss how the Reynolds number plays the important role in the in case of momentum transfer. And uh, today, I want to discuss the mixing. That is another another very impo important aspect of the chemical and biochemical industries that how this is uh, this uh, transfer phenomena plays very important role first uh, let us know that what is the, what uh, what do you mean by mixing mixing means that what we mean that uh, that which makes the uniformity in the reaction mixture as for example the physical operation which reduces non uniformity in fluid by eliminating the gradient concentration temperature and other properties now what i try to mention suppose this is a vessel am i right and 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 suppose the here you put your media and then you put your cell now i told you cells are very much specific as they are they are very very much specific as per environmental condition is concerned under under a particular environmental condition they they give the desired product am i right so if it is so the temperature control is very important also the nutrient concentration plays in the, in the media that also plays very important and uh, the role so me, that is the the mixing determined how uniform is the is the temperature how uniform is the concentration in the reaction mixture so the, which is very important and mixing accomplished by the interchange of material between the different location to produce the mingling of the components so so mixing plays very important role in the chemical and biochemical industries now mixing involves that is several things one is blending of soluble components of the media such as sugar suppose we make a solution of sugar in the day to day life the in our in our in our home suppose we make a want to make a solution of a sugar we put a spoon with the help of spoon we make a solution so this also kind of mixing that we have now dispersion of gases such as air through the liquid in the form of small bubbles now i told you in case of aerobic fermentation process then uh, your uh, main uh, limitation is the dissolved oxygen concentration in the fermentation broth because microorganism will take the oxygen that is dissolved in the in the fermentation liquid so dispersion dispersing of gas um, through the air um, uh, in liquid in the form of small bubbles this is also a mixing that also uh, kind of mixing that we have maintaining the suspension of the solid particles such as cell i told you just i, I explained that cells when is uh, if you uniformly suspended in the media then in then and only then it will freely interact with the substrate molecule and give the product and where necessary dispersion is in, in immiscible liquid to form an emulsion or suspension of fine droplets 
So, in that case what we go what we do we we, 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 we make a very fine droplets uh, as per I can give the example that uh, lipids as per example, they are basically insoluble in the water am I right. So, um, uh, if we want to uh, solubilize the uh, solubilize the lipids very difficult to do that. So, what we can do we can we can reason disintegrate the uh, this fat globules in the finer globules and it can make in suspension the which is usually done in the dairy industry and promoting the heat transfer to and from of the liquid that heat transfer also is plays very important role. Now, uh, question comes what is the mixing components we have what are the things we required for mixing the basic thing we required a, a sap. Uh, what is the, what do you mean by sap? What do you mean by sap? This is where the impeller is mounted. Uh, this is a sap, you know, this is this is sap, and this sap I told you that this sap should be perfectly straight. A few company in the world they produce only that uh, sap for the uh, bioreactor because in the bioreactor the uh, sap plays very important role why because uh, suppose this is a this is a bioreactor and this is a vessel this is a uh, vertical sap and this is the impeller now here i told you this is we have mechanical seal mechanical seal now this mechanical seal uh, but this is required both for the chemical and biochemical industry am I right. Now, in the biochemical industry the mechanical seal plays very important role. The reason is that there should not be a, 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 any entrance of the air from the because since it is a moving sap. So, there is every possibility air can enter into the vessel and air comprises a lot of different microorganisms and then if it entered then whole fermentation process will be spoiled. So, this is a special type of regulation is done. Now, that is why that and another one important thing is that this should be perfectly straight. Now, if your sap is not perfectly straight then what will happen if it is a little bit angle like this then what will happen then there will be that you know that uh, suppose this is sap and here we have the packing material. You now, this is all packing material that we have and this is the sap we have. Now, we are so, here uh, if, if there is the angle there will be a friction that occurs in the mechanical seal and that causes the spoiling of the mechanical seal. So, it is the very uh, very essential. Another thing is that impeller we have different type of impeller different type of uh, type of uh, mixing we require different type of impellers. Another requirement we, we require this is the baffle. Why use baffle we required just to stop the vertex, vortex this if you do not have this uh, this impeller uh, then we will be having this kind of vortex formation in the system. Now, different type of impellers we have we have anchor we have propeller this is largely used in the chemical industry this is six blade flat blade uh, disc turbine this is used in the fermentation industry. So, you know that uh, paddle impeller gate anchor and the helical screw there are different type of impeller we can use. Now, if you uh, now viscosity plays very important role as per use of different impeller is concerned. Now, in anchor that usually lies in between 10 to the power 2 to 10 to the power 3 centipoils then uh, the pro propeller is propeller which is mostly used in the chemical industry that is uh, 1 to 10 to the power 4, four centipoise. Now, in flat uh, blade turbine which is mostly used in the biochemical industry it is 1 to 10 to the power uh, 4 uh, paddles and other type of impellers that is also used. There are different type of you know the flow patterns we have one flow pattern we call it radial flow uh, impellers. So, radial flow impellers what do you mean by that? Now, this is this is actually uh, if, if you look at this particular um, that you know that uh, uh, schematic diagram you can find out what do you mean by radial flow impeller. So, 
when the agitator agitator moves like this, then what will happen? This uh, liquid is throwing like this. Am I right? This is coming like this, and then it rotating like this. And here also it is there like this and coming like this. So this is like this. This kind of flow pattern is there. Now if you if you take the stop view of this radial flow impeller, we will get this kind of. This is the disc. This is the disc, and on the disc. And if you look at uh, the side view, it will look like this. In the disc, the this the blades are mounted, and this is here we have the shaft. So these are the blade. This is called blade, and this is disc. So one experience I want to share with you that uh, I worked with uh, Citigia Biochemicals. And we observed that uh, number of blades that you know uh, uh, that we, 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 we must have at uh, different uh, height because I can, I can tell you that like this suppose uh, you, when you use the very large fermenter so you have very high height so naturally if you if you if you put one impeller at the bottom it may it may concentrate mostly one particular zone it will not uh, it will not be effective throughout the media so you have to have different impeller at different height they will be parallelly mounted like this so that you can have proper mixing now question come that what should be the configuration of this blade that in the disc that whether it is uh, it is a 444 or 555 or 666 or 776 or there will be 456 like this now we have find that you know that uh, in the industry this number of blades since that uh, blades causes lot of friction and number of blades very important role for the vibration of the reactor and uh, and that we shall have to find out experimentally what combination will be most suitable for this particular uh, fermentation process that we can find out uh, we, 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 we determined experimentally. So, let me let me tell more details about the radial flow impeller. Radial flow impeller have the blades which are parallel to the vertical axis of the shaft uh, and the tanks. I just ex explain vertical means this is the vertical, this is at different vertical position your impeller are mounted. The liquid is driven radially from the impeller against the wall of the of the tank that I have just shown you how it rotates like this, how it rotates like this that I have shown you. Radial flow impeller sets of circular flow which must be reduced by the baffle that you know that uh, uh, that kind of movement will be it will reduced by the baffle and now, why the baffles is required? We we want to make the we maintain the uh, the uniformity the height of the liquid, and if you don't use the baffle, then we have have vortex formation. The example of the radial flow impeller is the Ruston type of impeller with the six blade disc turbine. I I showed you what is the disc and what is the blade flat blade that we have. Now another thing that we have what you call axial flow impeller. Now let us see how it looks axial flow impeller. So you can you can easily find out there is a pattern is little bit different as compared to radial flow impeller. Here you find there is an angle. Now in case of previous thing it was perpendicular with this am I right. Now here it is not the shaft this uh, blades are not in, in the perpendicular it is kind of angle they are maintaining like this you know, angling they are maintaining like this. So, some kind of angle is there. And if you look at the flow pattern it is little bit different as compared to radial. So, here it is like this, it goes like this and it has goes like this, like this. Now, if you look at the radial flow, it has it is something different. It is like it, it, it uh, bottom one concentrated the bottom part and uh, this one concentrated on the top or uh, upper part, but here it is not like this. Here you see that here it is it is it is governed by the whole things, so it is like this. This pattern is little bit different, and here also we have shown that. 
Now let us uh, let us uh, let us do little more analysis. The uh, the axial flow impeller have blades which make an angle less than 90 degree to the plane of rotation and promote the axial top uh, top to bottom motion. That I have I have shown you. It is top to bottom motion is there. Fluid leaving the impeller is driven downward until uh, it is de deflected from the floor of the vessel and then uh, spreads over the floor and flow up along the wall before being drawn back to the impeller. I have shown you this and when uh, this is useful when strong vertical current are required. The example is pitch blade turbine. The mechanism of mixing what are the mechanism of mixing? Mechanism is mixing is the three. One is distribution, dispersion and the diffusion. Distribution we consider as the macro mixing and dispersion it includes both micro and maximum mixing depending on the scale of fluid motion and diffusion we consider as the micro mixing. Let us see that uh, what do you mean by that. Now, distribution, distribution we will distribute it. That means, what we mean the process whereby materials are transported to all region of the vessel by bulk circulation pattern. We are circulating by you know maybe uh, we are circulating the in a manner it is circulated at different part of the uh, vessel and it is often the slow step of the mixing process and factors affecting the distribution or size of the circulation path taken to the transverse path and uh, regularity of the liquid pumping at the impellers. So, this uh, depends on the these two factors. Now, the important is the dispersion. Dispersion is that the process of breaking the fluid flow into smaller and smaller eddies. I have shown you already eddies, how eddies are created, region of rotational flow. The dispersion facility facilitates the rapid transfer of material through the vessel, uh, throughout the vessel and degree of homogeneity as a result of dispersion is limited by the size of the smallest eddy where which may be formed in a particular fluid. Next is the diffusion ever, ever in turbulence media that uh, the region very close to the phase boundary is mostly by the thin layer. I can I can tell you suppose this is a liquid and and there is a bubble here. Then, then the so here you have two boundaries. Am I right? This is liquid, and here is a gas layer. So diffusion that takes place across the, the mixing, those regions mostly take place with the molecular diffusion. I can give the example of how oxygen is diffused in the fermentation media from the air for aerobic fermentation process particularly in case of surface culture. Now, mixing time how you determine the mixing time is the time required to achieve given degree of homogeneity starting from the completely segregated state. That means, suppose this is this is a this is a liquid and you you put some material here. Now, question, question come mixing time is the how quickly it is dispersed into the media. That means, how uh, that time required for the homogeneity of the of the reaction mixture. Now, it can be measured by injecting a tracer and tracer might be anything. It might be acid solution, maybe alkali solution, maybe color, anything we can have and or maybe any salt solution and following its concentration with the fixed point of the tank. And your monitoring device might be several. In case of acid or alkali, you should have pH. In case of sodium chloride, you add, you use the conductivity detector. In case of uh, color, we can have some colorimetric estimation process that we have. The tracer is commonly used acid base and concentrated of salt solution. Corresponding detector is pH probe and conductivity cell. Now, uh, how the mixing takes place? Let us uh, let us uh, let us give the example. Suppose this is the vessel, and uh, this is the starter that we have. 
this is the liquid. Now, uh, when suppose I am putting 1 milliliter of one normal HCl solution, let us take the example. Now, when we add this acid here, then what will the immediately it will not be uniformly mixed. So, what will happen if you if you if you consider here concentration of the acid uh, or you know pH, suppose you we consider here pH, you will find pH will uh, uh, that that you know that or you know the, your 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 S acid that concentration will keep on at a different it will keep on increasing decreasing increasing decreasing in the media and finally, uh, you will find the homogeneity in the reaction mixture. So, you have so many uh, wave type of characteristic that you will find and after several wave you will find that you know uniformity in the in the in the in the in the reaction mixture that you know final concentration <coughs> minus you know initial concentration that you can find out. So, what I want to mean that here this uh, this curve this is the wave that we have this time between these two peaks we considered as because if you consider these two peaks we consider T c and what is T c is the circulation time. And actually that we have observed T m mixing time equal to 4 into T c this is usually the case that we have 4 such you know we can you see the here how many things 1, 2, 3 and we consider another thing is more or less is constant 5 also sometimes may be applicable. So, circulation time how you define is the time period between the two subsequent peak um, of the response curve and there is the approximate relationship that T m equal to 4 T c. Industrial scale vessel walking volume in between 1 to 100 cubic meter mixing time varies in between 30 to 120 second depending on the conditions. So, so this is 1 to 100 cubic meter reactor if you have this mixing time is coming about 30 to 120 seconds. Now, let us let us try to solve uh, the, the, the mixing time that in case of we have seen in case of Rushton turbine can be estimated by the following equation and this is applicable when Reynolds number is more than 5 into 10 to the power 3. Then this is the rotational speed of the agitator, this is the mixing time equal to 1.54 volume of the volume of the reactor and d i is the diameter of the impeller and Reynolds number is equal to d this is this is called this is not the non, normal Reynolds number this is called agitator. Reynolds number. Okay. This is the called agitated Reynolds number. So, there is a problem you know that how let us see how we can solve this problem. A fermentation broth with viscosity 10 to the power minus 2 Pascal second and density 1000 kg per cubic meter is agitated in a 2.7 cubic meter of baffle tank using Ruston turbine with diameter 0.5 meter and starter speed is 1 the second inverse estimate the mixing time. How we can solve that? Now, I told you that when you try to solve any problem please note down the whatever the data is supplied. So, we have the, uh, the uh, density is given, viscosity is given and viscosity whenever you have this kind of data try to uh, convert into the same unit. This is the Mm, SI unit. So, you convert into the SI unit. Then mm, this is diameter of the impeller we consider as point, uh, point 0.5 meter and uh, Ni is uh, 1 to second inverse and V is 2.7 cubic meter. Now, first we shall have to find out the Reynolds number. Uh, we can find out this uh, equation. This is 0.5 is the diameter of the impeller. Then it is coming about 2.5 into 10 to the power 4. Now, this indicate this is more than 5 into 10 to the power 3. So, this equation is ample implies. So, since this equation imply we put all the value here to just to calculate the mixing time and mixing time is coming about 33 seconds. So, we can easily solve the problem. Next thing I want to share with you 
that uh, we carried out some kind of experiment in our lab and just to find out that uh, how to how to calculate the mixing time and how it correlated with power 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 drawn by the agitator and the Reynolds number. Now, we use the, the bioengineering AG fermenter and uh, the pH probe I, I told you whenever you do that you have to use some kind of monitoring device and pH probe is required then other things require syringe stopwatch and other control unit. Now, here we use the CMC solutions is the carboxymethyl cellulose and why carboxymethyl cellulose because carboxymethyl cellulose though it is insoluble in water at normal temperature, but if we heat it with constant stirring it will become soluble, but when you cool it down then characteristics of the CMC solution will be same as the characteristics of the fermentation broth. And another important factor is that when you as add acid or alkali then what is happening that there will not be change in the chemical structure of the CMC. So, this is the this is how the how the, the CMC is defined this is the polymer of cellulose C 6 H 10 O 5 N and this is the methyl group and this is the carboxylic acid group. Now, we walking volume is 2, 2 liter and we take 10 gram of CMC solution and we also also prepared one normal ACL and one normal uh, this NOA solution. Now, uh, this is the methodology how how you can prepare the CMC solution I am not going in details. Now, uh, that uh, for finding out mixing time we put the CMC solution and then we maintain the temperature at 35.3 degree centigrade with the initial pH of 6.36. Then, um, then what we have done that you know agitator speed first we control the agitator speed at different level. First we consider 100 then 1 milliliter of one normal NaOH solution is added to the reactor and stopwatch is started. We as soon as we add we put on our stopwatch and, and find out how long it takes to maintain to have the uniform pH. So, this uh, to obtain the no stable pH the stopwatch is stopped and time is noted. Similarly, we can uh, we, we can take we can add 1 milliliter of one normal ACL solution and we can also monitor the time required for having the constant pH that we can easily find out. The same process is repeated in case of start at with 200 rpm 500 rpm and the corresponding mixing time is noted down. So, this we can we carried out in the lab. Then this is the table that we prepared you see that 100 rpm you have test 1 and test 2 we we have we have, this is initially take 140 uh, 40 seconds to have the uniform pH and uh, and when when you, but uh, when you use the base it take 135 seconds and uh, in second case when you use one acid 150 seconds and second case is 140 seconds so we take a average of this and we find the mixing time this. Similarly, we can find out the value at 200, 300, 400, 500 and 600 rpm. Now, uh, we prepared a table like this at different rpm what is the power number, what is the what is the uh, that power consumption by the Reynolds and Reynolds number. The question comes how you did it that Reynolds number if you look at the Reynolds number how you calculate with this the Reynolds Reynolds number you know rpm is that you know 100 rpm we can write this is rps 100 by 60 is rps per second and di is 0.005 millimeter and then we can find out the Reynolds number is this and, and then we we find out the uh, the the we know the rho value is uh, 1000 kg per cubic meter and viscosity is 0.5 kg per meter per second. So, R e value can be easily calculate. Uh, similarly, we can calculate also the power drawn by the agitator. How you in how you can do that power drawn by the agitator is the N p. N p is the power number in the, the, the rotational speed of the starter d i is the uh, diameter of the impeller and rho is the density of the liquid. So, everything is known we put the value we can find out the what is the um, what is the power drawn by the agitator. So, we can easily calculate. Now, here I want to show you that uh, 
that different uh, region we have. We have lamellar flow, we have transition flow, we have turbulent flow. The turbulent flow, I told you, it is lie in, in between four, 10 to the power 4 onward. But in between uh, uh, approximately the 10 to the power 2 to 10 to the power 4, we have transition phase and lamellar flow is the usually the Reynolds number 1 to 10 to the power 2. So, this is the reason that we have now different type of impellers, they have different type of pattern, this is the different type of impeller is applied. Let us assume that if this is this is the that uh, that is the proper this is the, it may be applicable for uh, if uh, one might be applicable for propeller and the, the impeller may be another paddle type of thing. So, as per our requirement we, we shall have to find out we if you know the Reynolds number we can correspondingly we can find out the the, uh, the power number. Then we can calculate in this equation I have shown you the calculation we can find out. So, so what we can find out in the table we can we have the table we have n value and we have re value that n is the rotation of Reynolds number and then this power drawn by the hesitator we can have different values here. So, what we can do we can make a uh, we can draw a curve this is power drawn by the hesitator and the, this is the mixing time required. So, if you draw we will find this the why this curve is important the reason is that we try to find out at what is the minimum power required to have the uh, minimum uh, um, the mixing time the max uh, that uh, that uh, this is the value that here you see even after this if you increase the power of the hesitator it is not going to uh, decrease the mixing time significantly so we shall have to for design purpose we shall have to consider this uh, we can assume this kind of power is required for proper mixing of the of the uh, of a particular vessels. Now, here there is the another correlation of the Reynolds number and mixing time that also we can draw. So, in this particular presentation I try to uh, discuss the uh, how the mixing uh, that uh, involves the uh, transportation of the uh, fluid because uh, this uh, how the different material. Uh, they they flow in the that mix in the system because main purpose of mixing the, to maintain the homogeneity in the reaction mixture particularly it is essential in, in any fermentation process because we know the our microorganisms are very sensitive with respect to the environmental parameters with respect to substrate concentration so so this uh, now uh, we try to find out how uh, the mixing time uh, we can determine the mixing time is the time required to make the homogeneity in the reaction mixture and I told you this is equal to T m um, uh, uh, equal to 4 T c and uh, and, the, and also we try to find out uh, the mixing time in a particular fermentation process and uh, finally, we discuss some kind of experimental trial that we have carried out in the lab and how we, how you correlate with the power drawn by the hesitator and which is very much essential for designing any fermentation process. Thank you.